What's crackling, fam? What's crackling? It's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk. We're not short one just for you, fam. You look to be about um, a couple few things, dear. I see that um, the thugger. The thugger house is up. His mansion is trying to sell for $3 million. $3 million, fam. I predicted this year. You know, why? Because they got him on some state charges, but some kind of Rico things, dear. You know, I was saying this here. They're going to try to um, exuberate all the young Doug funds, you know what I'm saying? And then let the feds take it over. Watch, it's the plan. They're gonna let the feds take over this Rico case, right? They know anyway that he's done. He's done. His main man, Gunner, his brother was named some Unfunk, and about four or five other motherfuckers that we see there took plea deals. Took plea deals, right? And then when they come out of um, lock up and they get their butts back home, like the young. Uh, what's his name? Gunner? Yeah, like Gunner. Oh, I'm not snitching. I ain't doing that. They want to come on and make videos so they're not snitching. Especially this Gunner dude. When we don't watch inside the courtroom, when the judge is like, is YSL a gang? Yes, ma'am. Do they do fucking dirt shit? Yes, ma'am. So right there, you fucking snitch. There's no, you know, beating around that shit, right? And what's up the ATL? I don't hear too much about the ATL talking about that shit, right? Don't hear too much, right? Check it out. They all try to talk about NYC with um Alpo and all this bullshit about NYC. Um, it's, it's snitches and shit like that. I tell you, I shut the hell up. You have never seen some kind of indictment like this here, where they bring in 20, 20 people in and they all got them snitching like little rats, little bitches, quick, fast. You know what I'm saying? You probably say, what you talking about? We talking about Unc? Yeah, let's bring the case back with um. Kevin Childs, Don Diva Magazine. When they popped him, he had at least about 21 Codies. Only one dropped down out of all the whole crew. Out of the whole crew, you know what I'm saying? And I know some of his um his crew personally. You know what I'm saying? Ten toes down type of dude. But it's not like that in the ATL. These dudes are snitching there, getting plea bargains. They stupid, right? Check it out, dear. Especially the gunner dude. He's fucking real stupid, right? He had one charge. His maximum of her was three years. Three years. And you're going to cop a plea and leave your man hanging. You know what I'm saying? Once you start copping them pleas, you admit the things. It's not like saying, oh, I'm going to take a plea deal in full. No. To take that plea deal, you said something. You told them something that they wanted to hear. You know what I'm saying? Damn sure did. They should act like they just got out free, you know what I'm saying? And put these dumb fools on 10, 15 year probations, right? The system know these dumb fools ain't gonna be fucking law abiding citizens for 15 years. They gonna get that 15 years back, you know what I'm saying? And how they gonna feel then? You know they they, they copped the plea, left their man, the young thug out there hang, and then maybe a year later they get busted some little stupid shit, and they got go jail for 15 years. <laughs> Young Doug will be sitting there laughing at these fools while he's doing his time. And they start bringing these fools in for other goddamn charges. Like, oh, damn. You can you kept your mouth shut and did your three years and came out a man with honor. You no. Know? Gunner was still kept his honor. Gunner, he probably got more publicity. You know what I'm saying? They gave him more pub, more street cred. You no know, street cred means you're going to make more money. You no know, son, your albums and things like that. Don't, don't think shit like that. You know what I'm saying? There's not many um Bobby Smurd is out there. You know what I'm saying? NYC real dude there. You know what I'm saying? He said I take two more years. You no, know, the the get on uh, what's his, uh, what's his homeboy name? Roddy Rebel. Less time. Who do things like that? That's a real motherfucker right there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna stay two more years locked up so my man get there. Bobby Smurder ain't don't no, make motherfuckers like him. You know what I'm saying? But it's ATL dudes there. Uh, they looking real bad now. They're looking real bad. I saw the court where they had these other two dudes there. I guess they say they're not taking the plea deal, but I believe out of the two, one said, fuck, I'm going to take the plea deal. The other dude, he, he stand, he's he like, fuck that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this to trial. Everyone's saying, hey, if you take it to trial and you blow trial, they're going to take chance for 50 fucking years. 50 years. The judge explained that shit to him. He said, I mean, you, you can give it 50 years. He said, that's what I, I got to give you. It's not like, okay, some shit happened. The judge said, ah, oh, okay, cool. Guess what, eight years. No, he said, I got to give you this time there. 
No, I hope these lawyers explain this to these young bloods out there. You know, who want to try to run and snatch, get their little quick 15-year um, probation, get sent home real, you know, for the for the, um, the holidays like they did. Real dumb moves. I'm not going to sit there and take no 15-year goddamn probation for something I think I could goddamn beat. You know what I'm saying? Because once you take that appeal, you can't, um, you can't come back. You know, you can't come back. You can't come back like I was innocent and fight the case again. That's just what it is. Boom, finish. You know what I'm saying? Eh, fuck that shit, fam. You know, messed up things for the brother there. But that's what's going to happen there. They're going to lock young Doug up. You know what I'm saying? He's now going, he's going through it now. You know what I'm saying? Them lawyer fees, man. They, they, they got the lawyer fees. He got mama back home. Got the kid's wife. You know, he got the family back home. Still, they still got to get taken if. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you pull him at the bank account while he locked up. You know, with his permission. Okay, cool. But the money is fucking drying up. Now he got to sell his house now. You know what I'm saying? He got to sell his fucking house now. And this is just the beginning of this shit. Shit ain't going down now. You know what I'm saying? If the feds take over this goddamn case, Young Doug is done. He's done. Damn sure done. But we hope that doesn't happen to the brother. We hope things come out a little easy for him. No easy for him. But see, he's standing 10 toes down. No, he ain't, um, look like he's not breaking. No, even his father came out, so the interview with his father. His father said, we're not built like that. You know what I'm saying? He vouched for young thugs, said, we're not built like that. We're going to go to try and do the time. Yeah, you hear that? We built for that shit. Then maybe young thug is also his father. You know, he's going to offer you, say, 50 years or you can get your ass out here tonight. You know what I'm saying? Take a plea deal. Uh, real, it's a real situation you have to really think about. That you gotta think about, fam. Yeah, you gotta think about that shit. Well, anyway, with that young duck stuff, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna happen, whatever happened. Back to another brother. I was, I was checking out Charleston White. Charleston White is very intelligent. Very intelligent, the brother is. He be on topics that I be talking about, the brothers. And they don't listen, you know, about sweating. I, I was looking at interviews with, uh, I think, uh, what's the dude? I think Dialogue he was with, talking with, you know? How I was saying how blacks have become like cavemen. You know how we don't sweat. We don't want to go outside. Oh, it's too hot. You know what I'm saying? You ask it, the average brother, when was the last time did you sweat? He gonna look at you like, like you crazy. If he ain't playing no goddamn full court basketball, he ain't, ain't sweating. And most ain't playing basketball no more neither. So most ain't sweating. So when you do not sweat, what happens? All the toxic shit that's in your body stays there. It doesn't sweat out. It doesn't sweat out. You know what I'm saying? You got white people now, they run every goddamn day hitting saunas and all that shit there, you know, laying out in the sun. But now the brothers, it's like reverse now. We come from the sun, Africa, with lots of heat. You get your vitamin D and everything. Now we come, or well, being bored over here now, we over here. Now we acting like the Europeans. You know what I'm saying? We act like the Europeans. The Europeans acting like us. They want to get sun. They want to get out of the goddamn thing. Brothers don't want to go out there. Oh, it's too hot. And shit like that. Yeah, you can scream it's too hot, but you look at um, the situation that we are going through because we do not sweat, we don't eat properly, we don't eat the stuff that's designed for our bodies. What happens then? Uh, colon cancer, prostate cancer, um, breast cancer, all these goddamn cancers, you know, all for these bullshit foods that we eat. Processed food, cold cuts, going down to the spot and they're getting you ham sandwiches and, and turkeys and all that bullshit. Act like it's healthy. That shit healthy is fucking processed food filled with sodium, fam. Filled with sodium. We gotta sweat. We gotta get there. Get inside them saunas. Get you a, a, um, a gym like LA Fitness. Where the fuck you live at? Go in there. Sit inside that sauna with the white boys and sweat. Get them toxins out your ass. You know what I'm saying? I stress that shit so much. Why? Because when I was in Africa, I was that motherfucker. After the third day, I was able not to wear my glasses or my reading glasses. I was able to just fucking um, read menus. I felt much better. I was sweating for three, four days. You know what I'm saying? My body felt like it was fucking rejuvenated, fam. That's what we need. Brothers need the heat. Black people need the heat. We need to get ourselves out of these cold ass climates. You know what I'm saying? Where we're not getting no sun at. You know what I'm saying? It's the, making our body deteriorate. Making our body deteriorate. No sun, processed food, McDonald's, pizzas, and every goddamn thing. And then it went over, oh man, homie got this, this certain cancer. Yeah, what the fuck you think? What's well, putting his body? Nothing good at all, fam. Nothing good at all. So you gotta put stuff in your body, you know? Good stuff in your body. When the sun 
get outside that house, you know, get out that house, get some of that sun while it's out there, I'm telling you, fam, you know what I'm saying, that's why I like where I live at, I got a big balcony, like a U-shaped balcony, if I'm on my own, I, I call the the park side, no one could look at me, you know what I'm saying, so therefore the sun, my big black ass is getting naked, god damn it, and rubbing oil on my ass, get that extra, get them extra rays in, you gotta cook yourself, you know what I'm saying, fam? Get you some sun, get out there. Put your bathing suit on, ladies, whatever it is, sit outside, get you some sun in the balcony, or whatever, the roof, the fire escape, whatever it is, you gotta do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause we don't do it, all this is fucking killing us. We dying too early. Too early dying, fam, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, like I said, I'm gonna cut this one a little short. Now, I ain't, I ain't, wanna, ain't mean to talk this long, but I'm driving right now, and um, why not? If I'm kicking the good stuff for you to, that's good for you, why not talking? Why not talking? You know what I'm saying? But like I say, for get out the house, exercise, go to the gym, sweat, put good stuff in your food, inside your body, spring water, you know, get some spring water, put some, um, what's that shit called? Baking soda inside your, um, your spring water, you know, and drink that shit there. You're probably saying, why do that, unk? Why? Because that's good for your kidneys. You know what I'm saying? It cleans your kidneys out. You gotta clean your internal organs out, fam. You know what I'm saying? Get you some liver cleaner, kidney cleaner, pancreas cleaner, mucus tea. Get all that stuff, fam. I'm telling you, you're gonna live longer. Definitely. You're gonna live longer. So make you feel much better, fam. I'm telling you. Definitely. Listen to Unk No Punk, and I'm out, fam. Peace.